I wanted to do a quick video on how to run multiple Docker containers on a single droplet with Nginx reverse proxy. So I have a Ubuntu droplet with Docker already installed. You can see that Docker is already running. The next thing that I would like to do is spin up a new container. So what I'll do is just type Docker run, then I will turn it in the background. I will give this a name of Docker run. Then I would bind port 8080 on the host to proxy the traffic to port 80 to the container. And I would just use the base HTTPD 2.4 image. I would run a Docker PS to show you that the container is already running. And you can see that we've binded port 8080 on the host and forwarded the traffic to port 80 to the container. So if I go ahead and visit Docker One bogadf.com. I've pointed my domain name to the droplet already. You would see that on port 80. I'm not able to load the site, but if I go to port 8080, then I can see that Apache is already running. What I'll do next is just change the it works message. Let me just grab the name of the container. Then I would use the set command to just change the it works message with Docker one so that I know that this is my first container. Then I'll put the path to the default index.html file, which user local Apache 2, then htdocs and index.html. If I go ahead and run that and go back to my browser, hit refresh, and we'll see how the eatworks message changes with Docker one. So Let's spin up another container. I will again run docker run. I will just change the name to docker2 and let's put the port to 8081 instead of 80. And let's check that the container is running. Here you can see that I'm binding this on port 8081 and the previous container was on port 8080. If I go back to my browser and go to port 8081, you can see that we are getting it works message again. So let's go ahead and use the set command one more time, but this time for the second container. Let's put here Docker2 so we know that our second container change the Docker ID and run it. And if I go back to the browser, hit refresh, you can see that I'm getting Docker2. So this means that we are hitting the second container. And on port 80, we are hitting the first container on port 8081 is the second one. One thing that we want to do is not have to type the port every time. The next thing that we would like to do is to set up our Nginx reverse proxy to sudo nano etc nginx sites available and I'll call the new server below my first container one.bogodlyev.com because that's the name of my domain name. If I press enter and inside we would like to do a server block, we would like to set the listen port to 80, then the server name would be docker1.bogdf.com. Here we would like to set up the reverse proxy, so we'll set the location to slash, and we would put the proxy pass to HTTP, and I'll put localhost port 8080, because that's the port that my first container is running on. If we save that, and let me just go back and copy that. Let's go ahead and do this for the second container. So I will just change Docker1 to Docker2 and let's paste the server block in here and let's update the details for our second container. I will put the server name to docker2, bobbylive.com and the proxy pass rule. I will just change the 8080 to 8081 because that's the port that our second container is listening on. Now, in order to enable the server blocks, what we would need to do is just symlink the config files to the site's enabled folder. That way, Nginx would know that it should load those two config files. So let's just run add hyphen s. This basically creates a symlink, followed by the path to the server block file, and then followed by the etc Nginx site's enabled folder. I'll just put sudo because you cannot run it without sudo, of course. Press enter. Now, if we check the contents of the 
site enabled folder, we can see that we have a docker1.bobbylib.com symlink pointing to the docker one bobby dev config file in the sites available folder. Let's go ahead and do the same thing, but for our docker2 server block, change the contents of the sites enabled folder again. And now we can see that we have a second symlink for the docker2. Let's go ahead and run a quick config test. Oops, I need to type sudo, of course, otherwise it would not work. We're getting syntax OK. This means we can go ahead and restart Nginx so that it would load our new configuration. So just type systemctl, restart Nginx, hit enter. And now let's go back to our browser. We can now get rid of the port 8081, visit the domain name directly on port 80, and you can see that we're getting docker1 message. This means that our reverse proxy is actually working, and by visiting docker one bobbydfcom we are seeing the docker1 message. Let's go ahead and do the same thing for docker2, and we again see docker2 as the message. This means that the traffic for both domain names is being proxied to the correct docker container. So now let's say that you want to add a third container. I would go ahead and run the docker run command, just change the name to docker3, and let's put this port to 8082, hit enter, check if our containers are up and running. You can see that now we have three containers. Let's grab the container ID and run the set command again to update the eatworks message with Docker 3. Now let's go ahead and create a server block for that container. I'll just copy the server block from here and I'll create a new file called docker3.bobbylev.com, paste this inside change the host name to docker3 and update the ports to 8082. Then after that, let's create a quick symlink again as we did before. Run another config test. We're again getting syntax okay. So we can go ahead and restart Nginx. And now if we go back to our browser, go to docker3, bobbylev.com, and we are seeing a docker3 message. So this is pretty much it. That's one way of running multiple Docker containers on one droplet with Nginx reverse proxy. If you run netstat, you can see that we actually are able to see that Docker is listening on port 8080, 8081, and 8082. And thanks to Nginx, we are proxying the traffic to the correct container based on our host name.